Good morning, guys. Welcome to the rat race. Wow, that was, that was bad. Duh. So I'm gonna be answering your questions today for this week's Q&A video. I say this week's implying that I do it every week, but I don't. I forget and I don't do it. So here is this week's questions video. Thank you, by the way, for those of you who submitted questions. They were, uh, they were pretty good this week, actually. Pretty solid. Why is that guy so angry? So the story behind this picture is we went to Ireland, like right when we first started dating, I just saw this bridge and I was like, Jenna, like I wanna take a picture in front of this bridge. She was like, okay. So I was like, this is me in front of a bridge. And she took the picture and we didn't see it till after that this guy was like so angry that a camera was pointed anywhere near him. He was just angry. I don't, I don't know. He was just an angry guy, but it made for a great picture. How do you keep your vlogging consistent? What keeps you inspired? It's hard. It's, it's, it's not an easy thing to do all the time. I would say the thing that inspires me is living life. Like something will inspire me one day and then two weeks, three months, a year later, I'll be inspired by something completely different. And I think I just get inspiration from living and having experiences and meeting people, watching things. So it's, it's not one thing, it's all sorts of things that gives you inspiration as a vlogger. Do you plan on purposing anytime soon? You know, I did. I wanted to repurpose the room down the hallway into kind of like a closet and then my upstairs closet I was gonna purpose into more of like a storage space. That way I could have both of them working better. What achievements are you proudest of? I had an answer for this and then I totally forgot. I guess that is kind of the answer. Pokemon Go or Rocket League? I think definitely Rocket League. Rocket League has stood the test of time. I think Pokemon Go had a phase and uh, it didn't really maintain itself. Who's your favorite stand-up comedian and why? Uh, I would say Dimitri Martin is probably my favorite stand-up comedian. I watched him a lot when I was younger and something about his style was like really, really funny to me and still is. He had a show also. I think it was on Netflix a while ago. I don't know if any of you ever watched it. I forget what it was called. Like This is a Show by Dimitri Martin or something. And it was incredible. Like the way his brain works always fascinated me. What is one thing you would love to film on a time lapse but is difficult or tricky to do? Huh. I'd love to film a 24 hour time lapse. I think the most difficult part about that is camping out somewhere for 24 hours and you know, kind of being set up for an entire day of just sitting there and watching your camera. But I think somewhere like the Grand Canyon or some naturally beautiful spot would be really cool to see a 24 hour time lapse. Are you coming to Vlogger Fair? Uh, I don't know yet. I actually was approached by them and I'm still in the works of planning that out. I think I am, but I, it's not confirmed yet. So stay tuned. Did you do much behind the camera or have much interest in videography before your vlog channel developed or did your skills and interests just improved through it? I would say a little bit of both. I had an interest of, of doing some behind the camera stuff before vlogging and progressively vlogging just made it so I had the chance to do more and more of it. And then I kind of found that's what I love to do. Any opportunity I get and any opportunity I've always gotten to test out my skills or try something new behind the camera, I've always taken because I, I just, I feel like the only way to really get better is to just do things that you're not familiar with. What is the dumbest, most embarrassing, guilty pleasure you still do while at home that no one knows about? I wouldn't say no one knows about it because Jenna knows about it, but I rewatch series like from beginning to end. Like I'm watching Breaking Bad right now and I've already seen it, but I am like captivated by Breaking Bad, even though I've already seen the entire thing. I'm like looking forward to the next episode. I'm so excited to have a moment of free time so I could watch more Breaking Bad. And it's like, I'm re-watching shows. I'm spending my time re-watching shows. When you can consume new media, I'm consuming the media I've already consumed. So I guess that's not super embarrassing. It's just some people don't get it, like Jenna. If I cut off your leg and started thrusting it at you, would I be hitting you or kicking you? All right, that's enough internet for me today. You'd be doing neither. You'd be bleeding out. Who's a good boy? Me, I'm, I'm a good boy. Do you ever get self-conscious if people give you weird looks when you're vlogging in public? Yes, every single place I go. The only difference now compared to when I started is you just don't give as many fucks. Every single time you do it, every single time someone looks at you, you just lose three fucks and you don't give that many the next time. You can at least say hi. Hi, I love you. Are you getting the new iPhone? Uh, no, I use headphones way too much to not have a headphone jack. And I'm not about that dongle life. You know what I'm saying? What makes you feel most accomplished? 
here's a specific example. If I find a song that I really, really like and I and I want to listen to it nonstop, if I'm able to make a video to go along with a song that gets me equally as excited as the song itself, I feel like that's a cool thing. That's one of the biggest things I've kind of enjoyed over the last like year is like finding good music and mixing them to my vlogs. Because now when I hear a new song that I like, all I want to do is like think of what a good concept would be to shoot for it, like music videos. That's interesting to me. So when I do something even remotely like that, I feel accomplished. Will you do me a solid and watch the TV show Chuck? It's my favorite show. Yo, I watched that show growing up. That shit was the dopest. I loved Chuck. I, I never ever met anyone who said, did you watch Chuck? So Jordan, thank you for being the first person because that show was dope and I loved it. Have you ever met Roman Atwood? I have uh, and he was very nice to me. Do you even? Why do you guys own Peachy now? Where did she come from? Well, we rented her and then we just never returned her and I honestly don't even know where she came from. I think she just showed up one day. If you and Peach switched bodies for a day, what's the first thing you would do? See, there, there's a good question. I would piss off Kermit and have him chase me around because something about seeing Kermit like on my level uh, and running around with him seems really interesting. I'd get picked up. I'd do the thing where I'd jump into the air and dad picks me up, I would do that. I would eat things off the floor. Would you ever plan a trip to Alaska? Hashtag clouds, LOL. Yes, uh, yes, yes I would. And I will probably eventually do it on my own. But if there's ever a, a specific reason for me to go to Alaska, an event somewhere where I can be as a guest, I would do it even sooner. But Alaska is definitely atop my list. Where do you draw your stylistic influences for your vlogs? Are there any particular YouTubers slash cinematographers who inspire you? Uh, I feel like I kind of get a lot of it from TV shows that I watch. I'm really interested in watching shows and kind of finding out what about the show gives it the aesthetic that it's achieved. And so like when I watched Mr. Robot, I feel like I was heavily influenced by that show. Shows like Breaking Bad, Fargo, just the way that they're shot and the way that they're put together, that influences me a huge amount. Fuck, Mary kill, Cher, Shakira, or Celine Dion. Can't fuck, Mary kill because that's all one person. What happened to your Just Julian channel? I repurposed it into a space where I can put projects that are not vlogs. For instance, if I shoot a music video or I shoot a commercial for a company, that's where it will go. So it's kind of like a living portfolio for the stuff I'm doing. The other day I actually just uploaded the outtakes from the Uber Go video, which are pretty funny. Would you go storm chasing in Oklahoma? Hell fucking yeah. I just, I, I need help, I don't know what to do. All right, well that's gonna be it for the questions. Uh, thanks again to everyone who submitted questions on my Facebook. That is like the only thing I use my Facebook for, but you guys always leave good questions, so thank you. I'm currently in Boston, and I'm probably just right now walking around and exploring, so uh, if you see me in Boston, say hi. But uh, I will be back tomorrow for another vlog, and uh, I'll see you guys then. I gotta go return Peach now.